I want to take a look at why the arrow flips when I multiply by a negative in an inequality. So this is a real quick example of why it works. I'm going to make an inequality using numbers. Uh, 4 is less than 10. This is a true statement. We know the 4 is less than 10. So what happens is you can start applying things to both sides. I can add things to both sides or I can multiply things to both sides. So watch what happens if I would add something to both sides. If I would add 2 to both sides. Does adding 2 change the arrow? Does it change my inequality? Well, it changes the inequality, but it's not going to change the arrow. 2 plus 4 is 6. 10 plus 2 is 12. 6 is still less than 12. So that's why the rule is not about adding. It doesn't change. I can add whatever I want, and it won't change the direction of the arrow, because 4 is less than 10 is true, and so is 6 is less than 12. I can add a negative number. I can add anything I want. 4 plus negative 2 is 2. 10 plus negative 2 is 8. Is this inequality still true? The answer is yes, it is. Adding will not change it. So what happens if I multiply? Does that change it? Well, if you remember the rule, only when I multiply both sides by a negative number will it flip the arrow. Here's why. 2 times 4 is 8. 10 times 2 is 20. 8 is still less than 20. Doesn't change it. Why it changes it when it's negative is because of opposites. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 10 times negative 2 is negative 20. Is this true? The answer is it's not. On a number line, here's 0, here's 8, here's 20. 8 was less than 20. But you have to remember, as soon as I multiply by a negative number, all of a sudden it takes these numbers and it flips them over. So here is negative 8, and here is negative 20. So it flips it. So my arrow used to point that way, but because I flipped the order of the numbers, my arrow now points this way. I'm sorry. I flipped the order of the numbers, but negative 8 is bigger. Sorry, I said that wrong. So you have to understand, the closer the number is to 0, the greater it is. So even though my numbers flip, my arrow does not. So if I go to my picture, which way does my arrow have to point? It has to point this way. So not to be too confusing, but this is why I have to flip the arrow. Because as soon as I multiply numbers by opposites or negatives, it will take it to the opposite and it will flip the order of them. That's what the negatives do. So that's why the rule works.